Should we be afraid of MSG and why does it have a bad rap? MSG was invented in 1908 by a Japanese biochemist on an umami quest. Dr. Ikeda Kikune was enamored with the essence of taste, or Ajinomoto. He figured out how to extract the essence of umami from seaweed by turning it into a salt, calling it monosodium glutamate. The Japanese loved it so much that MSG was mass produced just a year later. Within a few decades, MSG sprinkled across the world into everything from baby foods, broths, and goldfish crackers. Everything was fine until in the 1960s, a man wrote into the New England Journal of Medicine, basically blaming MSG for the numbness he felt after eating at Chinese restaurants. Chinese restaurant syndrome became the new racist buzzword, the subject of studies and sensational headlines, and an official entry in the Merriam-Webster Dictionary. So the question is, is MSG actually harmful? MSG comes from glutamic acid, which occurs naturally in our bodies in virtually every food like tomatoes, cheese, and meats. Fortunately, today, the FDA considers MSG to be safe. And just like everything else, MSG is good in moderation.